All right. Okay, Scorpio. So, Scorpio, I do not like to pull cards uh, before I cut on the camera. However, I am not familiar with these oracles, and these oracles are being specifically used for the eclipse. Um, we're going to see what's going on with you, the things that you're going to be experiencing starting now, maybe throughout the rest of the year. Um, and so I really wanted to make sure I understood why these cards came out. So I studied a little bit before. I usually don't do that, but I studied a little bit before when these cards came out here for you. This is an astral oracle. Okay, we have a, a, a I think it's a lunar eclipse in your in the seventh house, which is Libra, and it talks about interpersonal relationships. Um, and interpersonal is with family, friends, community, right? And it's romantic relationships. Um, you know, so we want to see how this is going to affect you. Have you been affected recently by relationships? Um, that may have been seemingly falling apart. Now, the first card that came out was Chiron. That is a, that's pretty heavy. Okay. And I'm going to read what that means, but Chiron talks about a wound, um, that you were born in this world with something that you are trying to work through basically. And it could be in relationships. It could be with money. Sometimes your relationship to money like let's say if you were poor your whole life, you get money when you get older and you don't know how to spend it or you spend it recklessly, it's that type of thing. Beauty, how you feel about yourself, right? Like you can come into this world with this wound of like this, like uh, with, a, with a very strange sense of identity. Maybe you don't see yourself the way other people see you or you feel like you're ugly, you feel like you're not beautiful, so it's, and those are just examples of what Chiron could mean for you and what's, what's happening for you specifically in your chart. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get go into the, the book. And it says here with Chiron, that it's the asteroid points to where your own painful experiences give you training and how you can use that understanding to possibly even help others. So helping others doesn't have to be like you're going to end up being a mentor. This is like family members. This is your own children where you can teach them um, about these, these t this tenderness, okay, because a pain could be very tender. And your children or a family member, someone, even a friend may suffer from that same thing. So you can tell them how you were able to cope with it if you were able to change certain situations dealing with that area. Um, now, this is another one. It says the situation may feel familiar, but if you can't remember the story to go with it, it well, it says it may feel familiar, but it, but it also could be a situation that left over that's left over from a past life. OK, that's what I always believe. OK, um, some stuff could be in this lifetime. That's what I was trying to say earlier. If you don't remember what it was. Right. Um, but it's there and it's being triggered. And this is what it says, an old pain is being triggered and you're going to have to have some compassion for yourself. So you may even feel very sensitive and vulnerable at this time. Now, the challenge here is it says the situation can set off very touchy memories. It can poke where it still hurts. And that's why I was talking about that tenderness. OK, you know, a, a knife hurts going in just as much as it is going out. OK, but this does talk about. This, this is going to be an opportunity for you to heal um, these places of pain and being able to transform it. It says the gift here is to allow the pain and the troubles of the past to become wisdom and compassion in a, in a learning moment, like, like I was just mentioning. So that's what we have here with the Chiron, okay? Now, you have Gemini here. Gemini is a, is a communication energy. When I pulled your car, you also had Mercury, which is messages. So this is some messages coming in here for you. This could be divine messages or communication from someone. You had a lot of air. You had two air, um, Gemini and Mercury. Well, Gem the Lord of Gemini is Mercury, okay? So it's very heavy communication energy. And this is a wound possibly in the communication area, how you communicate with someone uh, who's not communicating something. Someone is not communicating their feelings, and this could cause a problems in certain types of relationships. So now what we're going to do 
is use some tarot here. We're going to push this to the side. We're going to see what's going on here with you, Scorpio, and how those cards relate to you in this reading. You got the Four of Cups. You know, we were talking about communication and Mercury being very heavy in this reading. The Four of Cups is like, you know, you can be, this is a lot of repressed feelings and repressed energy. So let's just say right now, you're trying to feel good about yourself. You're trying to feel good about life, right? And you have all of these emotions that you can't really express or you can't really get out of your system. Maybe there's really no one to listen to your problems. Maybe you don't have anyone to lean on or cry on. So the four of cups is like the sense of discontentment. Um, it can lead to depression here with the four of cups, because like I said before, there's this vulnerability and we see how this wound could be affected. How, what's, what is your reaction to it, the four of cups, okay? Because something is hurting you, something is triggering you. And the Gemini energy talks about maybe not being able to express yourself the way you want to or not having anyone to lean on. Let's keep going. Maybe you're not talking to someone in particular right now and you want to express yourself, you want to express yourself how you feel. Yeah, the seven of cups talks about a lot of confusion. I see you trying to keep yourself busy. For a lot of you, you're trying to keep yourself really busy. Um, and I'm also seeing that there's a lot of responsibility on you. Like you gotta, it's like you're trying to keep yourself busy, but then at the same time, you feel overwhelmed. And the love, if you're dealing with a love situation, you got other people who are wanting you, but I don't know. I still feel like there's somebody that you're still wanting, somebody that's still sitting in your heart space. I do feel an old person coming back or someone returning. I feel like this could be a part of the message. I feel like that is a part of that Mercury energy. Let's see. You could be done with a Virgo or a Gemini. Yeah, page of wands. You know, the, the only problem here with Gemini and the Seven of Cups is because it, it can cause a lot. Like I said before, it, it, it's it's okay, right? It's, it gives you an opportunity to explore things, but there's really no depthness to your relationships. And for a lot of you, you have not experienced deep love. You have not experienced maybe deep connections for people. I don't know why I feel like that's about to happen for you. I feel like there's about to be like, you know, something that's going to knock your socks off. Okay. There is going to be a love interest that's going to come in here. That's going to show you something completely different from what you've experienced before. Um, as far as your work and your create, it's something about your creativity here with the Page of Wands, it's it's like a spark of an idea. You're thinking about creating something that definitely has a potential of growing. I do feel like there's a change in your job, a change somewhere when it comes down to your work and career, um, because there is new ideas that you are exploring here. So, I mean, like I said, I mean, for you, I'm not necessarily seeing any problems with your money. This is all emotional. And I feel like this is what's really happening with you with this eclipse energy is to develop more deep personal relationships with people because it's just it, looking at this, it just feels so superficial. Um, and I mean, I'm not saying that you haven't fallen for anyone. No, I'm not saying that. I just feel like the thing is, is that you may have been dealing with someone. If you can get, if you can get deep, and if you can love very deeply, you are dealing with people who don't have the ability to do that in this, maybe in this lifetime or at this moment, okay? And that's what's been hurting you. You're dealing with someone who just doesn't have the ability to go as deep as you can go. And you're and it's teaching you to love yourself. Look at this. Here it is again. Five of Cups. Look at all of these sad emotional cards. It's teaching you to love yourself. It's teaching you that... You know, you are enough and you have to start seeing people for who they are too, you know, because part of these messages are spirit. And are you listening to the universal divine? 
some of you are just in general, some of you guys are just, you know, lonely and just, you know, at this point, um, you're lonely and you want someone to talk to. That's what this kind of looks like. You do have a love interest in here. Things are going to get better for you. But the, yeah, when I, as far as this, this lunar eclipse, I am seeing a lot of confusion. I am seeing a lot of disappointment um, coming out of this. So we're saying now all the way through, you know, possibly to the end of the year where you're going to experience this confusion and love. I do feel like for those singles, for those who are single, you got you got some you you're going to start off a new chapter here where you're going to be dealing with some nonsense with a few people, but there is going to be a potential person here that can love you because the King of Cups is a mature love. So it's going to be a venture for both. I feel here for you, um, Scorpio. But that's where I'm going to leave it because I don't want to get it too confusing. But that's when I'm going to leave it for it right now. Okay. All right, Scorpio. Thank you guys. I will see you later. Bye.